No one tells me what to do. In the description of the latest video release, click the GitHub link, and then scroll down to the Assets dropdown. Once you're there, pick Dolphin if you want to play on PC, or Nintendo if you want to play on Wii or Wii U. Go ahead and extract the zip that you've picked, and open the folder. Since you're watching this video, you don't actually have to read this, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and do the Extracting and Rebuilding ISO step, which applies to both Dolphin and Nintendo. So open up your GCR folder and open up gcr.exe. On the menu bar, click Image, then Open. Then select your USA version Shadow the Hedgehog ISO. On the right side of GCR is the Structure pane. Right-click Root and choose Extract. Make a new folder and choose OK. It's going to be extracting all of the original game files, and we're going to replace some files after this is done. This takes some time, so I'm going to speed it up. Once it's completed, go ahead and click OK, then on the menu bar, click Image again, then Close. Now, go back to the Download folder where GCR was, go back a directory, and open up the Files folder. In here, select everything and then choose Copy. Now, navigate to the folder where you extracted the ISO with GCR. Open up the Root folder, and then paste everything within this folder. If done correctly, you'll get a pop-up asking you to replace some files. Go back to GCR, and click Root on the menu bar, and then Open. Then, choose the folder you extracted to, and then click Root, and then click OK. The banner should say 2pmod. Click Root on the menu bar, and then click Save. Save the final image as Game. You just set where it saves to. You need to go ahead and click Root, and then Rebuild to actually build the new ISO. This should go much quicker than when you were extracting. This concludes the joint part. Skip to the time on the screen if you're here just for Nintendo. If you're here for Dolphin, that's going to be done right now. So Dolphin's fairly straightforward. Just go ahead and open up the pre-configured Dolphin folder in the folder you extracted earlier. When you launch Dolphin, it's going to ask you to set the path to where your games are stored. In this case, just pick the folder where you built your new game.iso. For me, I built it in downloads. If your ISO was built correctly and you chose the right path, you should see the 2P mod banner Shadow the Hedgehog. Go ahead and set your graphics backend, and just be aware that if you choose Vulcan, you'll need to have No Bloom on. No Bloom is on by default, but just keep that in mind if you're going to customize the cheats. Set your controllers, in my case I'm just using an adapter. Right click the game, and go to Properties. Then go to Gecko Codes. You should already see the cheats pre-configured just like this. There's a few things you can tweak here, but not a whole lot of customization. You can change the split screen style from vertical to horizontal. Just be sure to be turning off the other opposing code, so horizontal for vertical or vertical for horizontal. Lastly, you can turn no bloom on or off. If you're going to use the Vulcan backend, no bloom is a requirement. That's why I left it on by default. You might get better performance with no bloom on, but that varies per system. Under the config tab in Dolphin, go to advanced. Try changing this value as low as 80% up to 200% to see if the game runs better for your system. It can change it while it's running, just bear in mind it won't save uh, while you're running the game. You have to stop the game, then go to config, and then change it there. When the memory card pop-up shows up, press X to trigger quick boot. This takes you directly to the stage select screen, bypassing the whole startup. And that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and run a level really quick just to show it's working. Man, there we go. On to Nintendo. Okay, so we just finished building this game.iso, and now all we need to worry about is this Nintendo folder. So, game.iso, and cut it, and let's move it into the Nintendo folder, into root of USB or SD, into games, into Shadow the Hedgehog, and paste it right here. So this root of USB or SD is intended to go onto the USB or SD you're using with Nintendo. And if you're not familiar with Nintendo, I have this little get link here. You just go to this page and follow the guide on there. Pick one GCT folder is just a pre-configured cheats file, basically. Um, it has all the same defaults as the Dolphin build, so no blooms on. And the only difference is this has horizontal split screen on and this has vertical split screen on. Um, in the root of USB or SD, it already has the vertical GCT renamed um, into goop8p.gct. If I'd say maybe I want the horizontal one for some reason, I take this, copy it, move it over onto the games folder here, take this, I'm just taking the name of it, deleting it, and renaming this, because Nintendo will only look for this right here. 
GCD. So that's good now. Uh, this saves folder is optional. It's just at 100% save for Shadow, virtually emulated, in case you want to split your save files apart. Um, if you want to start from scratch and not affect your normal save file, just delete this file and make sure in Nintendo you have emulated memory cards on. So actually, I want it, so I'm going to bring it back. So once you're configured the way you want, right here, just take this and copy and plug in the USB or the SD card you're going to use for Nintendo. In my case, I'm going to use a USB, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Here's an empty USB drive that I'm going to use for Nintendo. You just go ahead and take these two file, uh, folders and paste. It's going to take a while. Alrighty, so that just copied over to our USB. I'm going to go ahead and eject this. And now to go over to the Wii. Okay, so I just plugged that USB into my Wii and I'm turning the Wii on. Okay, so go to the homebrew channel or use your Nintendo forwarder, or whatever you have set up. Wiimote's not working, so I'm just going to go ahead and use Preloader to get to the homebrew channel. Okay, so launch Nintendo. I'm using 5.486. I'm using USB, that's what we just set up. Okay, there it is. It's detecting the game. Make sure the cursor's on it and choose B. Make sure cheats are on. This is if you want to use the memory card that I provided or keep it separate from your real memory card. So I'm just going to leave this on. Leave this off. You do want unlock read speed. It makes a lot of times a lot faster. And everything else is optional up to you. Just make sure that force widescreen is off and sheets are on. That's really all that matters. That's like a hard requirement. All right, so here, once it says, once the OK is visible, press X instead of A, and it should jump you right to stage select, which is a good sign. That means sheets are working. I'm going to go back to the main menu just to make sure the file replacements are there. Yes, they are. So that means everything swapped successfully. The layout should be fixed. So we'll go ahead and just see wherever I left off. And it should be in horizontal because that's the GCT we chose. And yes, it is. So everything went perfect. So Z and L gives you Chaos Blast for all players. ZLR clears it. Um, Z and R should get Chaos Control. Yep, everything's working. Let's go back to the PC now and show how you can customize the cheats. And turn Bloom on, for example, if you want Bloom, because the provided GCTs have Bloom off. All right, we're back at the PC. So this file right here has all of the codes that we use in this mod. The star just means it's enabled by default. No star means it's not. So just use any Gecko code manager of your choice. I'm going to use right here Code Manager 1.2. It's a very common one. So I'm going to open up the TXT, open up the file, and as you can see, it has this all set up already. I just like Dolphin. So just choose the ones we want. So let's say we wanted Bloom. Man, which one does this have? This already has Vertical. That's what I want. I want pulleys to be on for player one. It's still broken for player two. I want player three to possibly play as the partner. It's a little buggy, but it works sometimes. And we'll do this too, just because. Just to have all sorts of weird stuff going on. And that looks good to me. So once you change this up, store modifications, export to GCT, codes have been modified, yes, oops. Uh, that's okay, just ignore that. Um, click here, store to file, and then choose the USB, which I need to plug back in. There it is. And go to games, over here, override this, and there we go. So we just edited the cheats. As you can see, Bloom's on now. And yeah. So that's how you change up the cheats for Nintendo. There's a reason this is uh, not on by default. It breaks a couple of levels, so... Anyway, that works out. Uh, let me try player two to see if it controls the partner. It does not. Looks like that's still working. Then switch to port three. And that's working. So yeah, that code's work in progress. Eventually it'll replace the AI only one permanently, but right now it only works half the time, so... That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.